everybody it's Tiago I'm gonna talk about uh, getting into steel framing and what types of screws there are and uh, how to get into it me and my brother we run a, uh, a framing factory here in Louisiana we build wall panels and ship them all across the United States so I'm going to talk about the different types of screws and when you'd want to use them the most common type of screw you're going to be using is called a self tapping screw this is a self tapping screw right over here it drills itself into the metal what defines it is this uh, this beveled part over here. It's like a drill bit, and this this can penetrate multiple layers of metal. Now this right here is also the most uh, common type of screw we use. It's uh, it has a flat head, so it's good. You can put drywall over it. You can put wall sheeting over it, and it's uh, it's not too deep. You we usually use this for joining studs into tracks. This is the most common screw we use. It's driven by a Phillips head. Our second most common type of screws are hex head self tapping screws. These are them right over here. We use this when you don't need a flush face on the area that you're drilling. They have a hex head over here, but other than that, they're identical to the other screws. You really want to use these because the grip is a lot better than uh, Phillips head, so you're going to break a lot less uh, drill bits. It's going to be an easier experience for your crew. When you're screwing drywall or wood to um, metal studs, you need to get a flat, flat-headed, self-tapping screw. You see it's going to be threaded like a normal screw, but then in the end it also has this, this flat head and has a flat back so it can, uh, it can sit flush to the wall. These screws are used for drywall and uh, drywall, wood, any type of thing that you're mounting. Now for drilling, we mostly use impact drivers. They're, uh, they're strong enough. Usually you need a lot of torque to uh, drive those self-tapping screws in. So we recommend using impact drivers. We recommend having bit holders on them so you guys can switch between hex head and Phillips head or whatever head they need very fast. We don't recommend using uh, regular drills because regular drills, after repeated use, the chuck gets loose, especially with how much torque you're having to put into these self-tapping screws to really get them to, to go through the metal. have a... Uh, a mounting system as well at the bottom of it so I can uh, have my this one can hold my hex head bit and then this can just be my regular uh, regular Phillips bit but uh, impact drivers these are the way to go other tools that are extremely useful to have are these snips when you're making modifications on headers and you just you need to bend uh, some track we found that these Craftsman one work pretty well. They're pretty sturdy. They can cut up to 18 gauge, but these are the ones we use. Another thing we use are these um, vice grips. Very useful. We use, mainly use them for clamping uh, tracks to studs. You clamp it and then you drill it. So I recommend that everybody have, have their crew carry around these two when they're uh, steel stud framing. Another thing that works really well are these... Uh, wood uh, wood clamps they're good because many times you're going to be trying to clamp a, a header in or something like that and you need the uh, the size of it so for smaller things you use the vice grip we can just do two two things together maybe and then the bigger ones take out your wood clamp and it works pretty well to hold your bits we recommend using this um, milwaukee impact bit holder it's pretty beefy it's strong it will hold your bits in there pretty well. We recommend having each one of this. It will uh, it will help your guys out as the bit won't come out when they're drilling. Now when you're steel stud framing, you're gonna break a lot of bits. That's why we recommend you buy impact bits. Now what we found to be the best are these uh, DeWalt impact bits, number two screws. You can buy them in packs of 30. So we recommend just getting a pack for each employee you have. They're gonna break a lot of bits. The, the they snap at the head, so we recommend this.